project name as flight booking system so this is the home page of my web application so i have implemented a web application where you can uh, book uh, flight tickets online so this is the home page so firstly let me explain the architecture diagram first so that you'll be getting an overview of what i have done in my project so here is the client connected with the user interface uh, which helps the client in connecting with all the middleware and backend of the project so ui is connected with api gateway this api ga gateway is basically an entry point uh, for accessing the microservices over here so these are the four microservices that have been implemented in my middleware using spring boot uh, flight search, user, check-in, payment. These four are the microservices that I have used in my project. So the data present in the microservice is being um, stored in a database here. For every microservice, it has its own database. So I have used a uh, MongoDB database over here. So the information which are basically present that we use in this microservices are all stored in the database mongodb uh, so here i have implemented eureka uh, server and also i have implemented swagger also where swagger is uh, uh, very uh, it is used in designing building a uh, document and also uh, use restful web services and um, here I have uh, also implemented RabbitMQ interface uh, which uh, helps in um, transferring that is exchanging the messages between the two microservices. So I have created this, I have implemented this RabbitMQ uh, between flight search and check-in uh, microservices. So the basically the data which has been there in the flight search is being fetched in check-in microservice. That is the after the booking details, the flight details are being uh, saved in this check-in. Uh, it is being fetched in check-in and it gives a message called uh, it is checked in successfully. So this is what is happening and also the ui which i have used i have tried implemented ui using angular so this is my ang uh, architecture diagram now let me show you the flow of my project my ui so this is the home page uh, let me start uh, signing in first uh, let me give me a name uh, for example, so and let me give me a password. So sign up. When I sign up, it redirects to login page. So the the information which I have given for sign in is being stored. Now let me give it logged in. So yeah, we have successfully logged logged in, and now let us search for the flights for booking purpose. So the origin, destination, and data. There are these three things, and let me put some places over here we'll go the destination as Bangalore and I'll be giving oh uh, yeah this as the date and when you click on search here you'll be getting the list of flights that travel from Hyderabad to Bangalore on 25th March so these are the flights available uh, on that date uh, traveling between these two destiny uh, these two uh, places so let me uh, book uh, any of the list so let me book this so it redirects to the payment page 
so in the payment let me uh, give the customer id random all the ids as as it is int let me give it randomly and amount as yeah it is given 6500 so let us type that so this is a ptm page which uh, i have uh, connected to my payment microservice let me pay it successful and here is the receipt of your payment so after this let me uh, redirect to the check-in page to see whether it is uh, um, checked in successfully or not so yeah you have successfully checked in it has given a message so this is my uh, flow of uh, user interface of my project so this is what happens uh, you can book you can pay and you can check in uh, you get the check-in message over here so let me go now let me show you my uh, front-end middleware and back-end where I have uh, uh, actually implemented all uh, all the main things in my project so this is my database over here so yeah this search database where I have all the data stored here and this is my user database and this is my uh, so this is my check-in database so yeah this is my database uh, here all the data that is present in my microservice is being stored in that data and now let me show my middleware over here so as i just told you i have used spring boot and i have uh, uh, implemented four microservices that is um, flight search payment check-in and user there's a server which i have implemented for all of these uh, microservices and this is an api gateway so in the uh, so mainly my main uh, project has a logic that you have to uh, i have to uh, fetch the details of the flight which travels from uh, so and so place to so and so place so this i have done by giving a logic i have given the if statement here saying that if the origin uh, origin uh, there in the data and also the origin which i have given is same and if the destination is same and the flight date is same that is if all the three uh, things match so then you will be um, displaying flight details which travel from the origin and destination which we have mentioned there so this is what is the main thing happening in my project so here i have been fetching all the details that is after booking the flight the flight the particular flight details are being fetched in booking details and this booking details is being uh, fetched in check-in also so in this check-in uh, so as i told you i have used flight search here i have uh, used mc uh, mq config and uh, I have used these micro or uh, rabbit MQ over here and I have sent the message from flight search and check-in so this is what is happening here and I have also implemented payment uh, microservice here as I have told you I have connected the Paytm uh, app with this uh, for uh, for payment purpose uh, so the I, I can so that I can show you the real time pay, uh, payment process which happens in the web application, and also there is a user server uh, user microservice where here I have implemented the JWT uh, 
um, security here so the login sign in which we have done in my uh, user interface is all uh, here I have done it here here we have authorized we have authenticated and we have subscribed all the things is being implemented in this microservice for mine and um, there is a server I have used uh, Eureka server and uh, there is an API gateway and for all these um, microservices I have implemented Swagger uh, so that uh, it is very easy and it helps in design, build and document uh, and, and many other services. So I have implemented Swagger over here. So basically this is what, these are the main things what, I, what is happening in my uh, middleware. So let me show you my front end. That is I have used Angular over here. So the components which I have uh, created is uh, about check-in, home, login, material and payment. So and search, yeah sign it so all these things so i have uh, just co given some html quotes for my uh, tabs my forms and uh, uh, mat cards i have used material angular material uh, and also the bootstrap for implementing my user interface so these are the main things which is happening here so i have used forms icons uh, mat cards buttons uh, and all so this is what is happening in my uh, angular uh, thing so yeah and there's an about extra component called about where you can see all the uh, informa uh, information uh, about the web application so here there is an about component where you can find uh, all the details uh, it says about the application. So this is what I have uh, created. So this is what I have done in my uh, project. I have used all these uh, things. I have used mat cards and all in the HTML and also I have uh, decorated uh, my uh, that is I've made my uh, UI look beautiful using CSS and um, the main part in this is I have used routing for all the my uh, components here uh, because without routing you can't uh, redirect to the pages which uh, we want so this is the main part where you uh, it is the main part where uh, uh, it is used to implement in the angular so this is what uh, my project is so uh, the case study flight booking system uh, thank you thank you so much